invite uh, Sajjan, uh, Shushant, and Sabrato Naik for giving a AVU demo. Uh, my name is Sushant. I handle the AVU part. Till now, you have been using AVU as a student. I'll be for the FDP uh, and all. How you can use AVU as a teacher? So the login and everything is the same. What you need to do is you need to uh, decide a date and time when you are going to interact, when we, when you are going to keep that interaction session. At that date and time, you can uh, you will have to tell us. So. According to that, we will create a classroom inside AVU like we uh, create a classroom and you attend. So we will create uh, that classroom in, inside AVU on that and date and time. So it will be accessible only on that date and time. And it will be accessible to the students that you want to interact. So once you give that details, we will create the classroom. After that, the login part is the same. But this time, you will be the teacher. You will have the controls of a teacher. AVU has is just now been uh, updated to the latest, latest version. So uh, many of you who might have opened AVU, it might have automatically updated it to the version 5.0. But those who have not done that, once you click on that AVU Classroom 3.7, it will automatically update it and uh, it will uh, give you a different icon. Because first, when you uh, used to use 3.7, it used to give you a AVU Classroom kind of icon here. But when it gets updated, so just uh, tell you that you don't get confused. So when it gets updated, it will give you this icon, only A view kind of thing. Because that icon doesn't go when you, it gets updated. When you update it, it will be like this. It will be the same that you'll have to select IIT Bombay T10 KT server. After that, your username, password that we give you, we will give you, and you will have the teacher controls. Then. After login, you will see your session name there. There will be a lot of sessions, so you will have to select uh, uh, carefully select which session you want to join. So there, uh, now right now there is only one, but there will be a lot of sessions. So you will have to select your own session and click join now. Uh, the overall interface has been changed a little bit, but a lot of things are the same. Like you first, you will have to start your video. So first, you can click on start, then the same options that you get to select your camera, your microphone. When you select the camera option, first there used to be a camera type option there. That was like USB converter, HDMI, and US webcam. So now that, that option is in this advanced button now. So you don't see it here right now. When you click on the advanced button, you'll see that option. And please, if you are connecting your Handycam through an HDMI or cable, Please select USB converter. Do not say select HDMI, because HDMI is uh, giving a lot of uh, blur uh, video. Please select USB converter. So that will be, uh, give you a better video. Then there is a, this check audio and video. So you can test it at your end, how your audio, if your audio is being transmitted, if the other, uh, the student side audio is being transmitted to you. So there is a check audio video option. It will automatically check if your audio is being transmitted and if it is, everything is okay. And if it is not okay, you can just uh, change the settings and you can start again. Once you do, do that, you click on start. Then there is now, as students, you were not uh, able to control the document and the whiteboard part. So as a teacher, you will be able to control the document and whiteboard part. The documents, uh, whatever PPT you have, you, uh, you have PDFs that you can upload by clicking on the document button here. And in the library, you can upload all the documents, all the PDFs into that document. So it's like you, do, uh, you can't open up your PPT in your PC and then display it. You will have to upload your PPT into AVU. So once you upload it, it will show, it, uh, show up in this library, AVU library. And if you double click it, and it will display it to you and the, to the students. And then there is the whiteboard part also. You can uh, jump to whiteboard and come back to documents whenever you need. So this will be like, you will, PPT will be visible to you, and the students will be visible here. So while interaction, so you know uh, when you have a question, you press the hand raise button, and the, a question mark appears at the student side. So like that, you can tell uh, the students that they have a hand raise button at the bottom at the left-hand side bottom corner, they have a hand raise button. If they have a question, they can press it, and they'll, uh, the, a question mark will appear at your end. 
And when you know that there's a question, what you'll need to do is you, uh, whichever uh, student you want to select, you right click on that uh, student and start press start interaction. When you right click on that student, you will see an option of start interaction. Once you click start interaction, it will get you to a video wall where you and the student is uh, both are visible at the same time. So after once that is visible, you can start your interaction. Then there is a polling option. The polling option is like oh, you have used it. A teacher from IITB posts a question, and then uh, there are four options to select. So whichever option you select and you post it. So from here, what you can do is you can uh, create your own questions. You can create your own options. And once you uh, post uh, that question, it will be visible to all the students, and they can post it. And you will get an instant feedback about uh, the uh, a graph chart, about what the answers are. So that is a, uh, a very good option to get uh, feedback. So this is a basic you know, uh, interface of AVU. You have been using it as a student. And when you start using it, it as a teacher, you will have many problems, I know. <laughs> That we will uh, give you. All the student login and the teacher logins, all of them we will give it to you. You will have that uh, logins done. And you can send them uh, the login details. Like we send you the login details, we, uh, you can also send the login details. So uh, while you uh, use this, you will have many questions. And for that, uh, we are going to keep a demo sessions in the month of May or June. So what you can do is you can log in, uh, you can create. Uh, we'll you know, create a demo classes in the AView, and whenever you have time, you can log in and you can just you know move around the uh, AView software and uh, check if you are able to do it. And we also will be available at that time online to guide you. So uh, don't worry about you know uh, what, how can I use it? Once we start the demo sessions, you uh, give us the date and times. You can log in, and then we will also be online and we'll. Uh, solve the, uh, if, if you have any queries. That's about the AVU session today. Uh, so basically, uh, this uh, session is related to the teachers you are. Yeah. When you will be assigned the role of the teachers and you make a group for the FDP, and when you will be the teacher and you want to interact with your students or your colleague or in your group, then we will give some role to you. Then you can conduct your own classes. Yeah. You can discuss, you can interact with them. Therefore, if you don't have your own server, then we will give a facility That's to it. you. You can use this server as a teacher. So this session is only for that purpose. It's not like you are, you are being given the server uh, control. Server is at our end. You are, uh, you, but you are your just group acting will as a give a login credentials to you. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, sir, I request you to mail this important PPT to all the remote centers. Yeah, I will do that. Sir. Thank you, we'll sir. Any more quick questions? Any additional infrastructure is required for uh, conducting? No, no additional infrastructure is regarding required. the bandwidth. No, not for that. No additional. Local, no, no bandwidth is bandwidth the, the same. So uh, the server is here. So bandwidth part, if you have a 10 node, then you need 10 Mbps line. Oh. But in the local group, we, may, we will create a facility using another method. So you can interact in the group uh, on the local LAN. That you will you just only one request will be sending to the server. Hello, sir. <laughs> So yeah, it will be good if you arrange a training session for AV coordinators. Yeah, so uh, the demo sessions that we are going to conduct, that will be available on, uh, till from May. And at that time, you can just, uh, whoever is going to conduct that session, so they can just uh, uh, log in. And we will be available here to uh, you know uh, tell uh, them online how you can uh, interact with them. Do we need to send the details of the students who are going to participate? Yeah, later. But you'll, first, you'll, uh, uh, you'll go through the de demo sessions. Once uh, right now, it is not possible to say right, uh, yeah. uh, it, this is not the right time. When you just conduct the FDP program and when you form a group, then you have to provide the time slot to us. The, within that time, we will provide you. Yeah. Because otherwise, there are so many uh, groups, and we can't afford that load on our server. So for a specific time purpose, we will allot that to you. OK, thank you. So you have a studio set up here. Yes. But at our place, we'll have our normal mic. Yeah, yeah, that is sufficient.
if you will just need to you know adjust your camera because right now your camera is uh, f facing the audience so while you, you are a teacher you will have to uh, uh, you know face, so, face the camera to the teacher the, the, there is a confusion here so as you are a, uh, belonging from the remote center side you have a classroom there and many participants but for your group it could be two people three people so there is no need that kind of facilities you just use your webcam and that uh, uh, also. laptop you microphone laptop also. so it is you can just uh, individually you can interact can from home. yes yes, yes. Home, uh, home from anywhere yes. yes okay thank you if any other questions we can take it yeah. offline